Hey guys, and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how I generated 10,000 pounds in free organic marketing when I first started my e-commerce journey. I'm gonna be telling you my story and how I achieved this 10,000 pounds in six months. And I'm gonna be telling you how you can do the same as well. I'm gonna be giving you a few different free organic marketing strategies you can use to generate a few hundred dollars to a thousand dollars so you can reinvest that money into paid traffic, whether it's Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram ads. And like I said, guys, I'm gonna be telling you my story so you understand how the process works and how important it is to understand how organic marketing works. So if you guys wanna know how to generate 10,000 pounds in organic marketing, which is free traffic, then you're gonna to wanna to watch this video till the end guys so let's jump straight into the content So guys, before I show you the strategies and the methods you can use to generate free traffic and generate free sales up to a thousand to two thousand to a hundred dollars, I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about my story and how organic marketing changed my life and changed my business going forward. So organic marketing is what I used when I first started my dropshipping and e-commerce businesses at the age of 17. Now, that was when I got fired from my job and I had no money. I only had the money left from what I got paid, which I used to get paid weekly. So I had about 190 pounds left and that had to make that last till I started seeing money being made from my business because I said to myself when I got fired, I'm never gonna work a job again. I'm fed up with it. I just wanna start a business and make real big, real big amounts of money. So like I said, I started my business and I started using organic marketing. It took me three months to start seeing any form of results. Now, this is what puts people off using organic marketing. They don't see results straight away. That's because there's something called compound interest. The work you do today won't be resulted or interest or affected for time to come, whether it's weeks, months, or years. So after three months of doing organic marketing, and there's loads of strategies I was using, I'm gonna show you some of the strategies today on today's video, but I was using the strategies I was using. And within six to eight months, I generated 10,000 pounds in organic free traffic. Now, the amazing thing about that is the profit margins are a lot higher. I don't need to pay for any advertising costs. I just have to pay my taxes. So what I was left with was a very substantial amount of money. And when I used that money and reinvested it into my business, that's what put me in a position now where I don't need to work a day in my life. I can live a lifestyle where I've just got a laptop and I'm just working in my office, doing my e-commerce businesses. So being able to generate that kind of cash flow is what put me in a position where I am today. It may and what organic marketing taught me was you need to learn how to hustle, you need to learn how to engage with people. So the, like, the, the fundamentals organic marketing taught me as well is what made me so successful today. And now people who run Facebook ads or Google ads, they don't understand certain elements. And with organic traffic, if you wanna make a lot of money with it, you have to understand some of the processes and some of the fundamentals like hustling, some of the things like understanding your customers. There's so many things that go into it for it to work effective. And now, like I said, I'm gonna show you some of them today. But I don't want to go on too much about my story. I just want to show you guys how you can do the same. But I want you guys to understand that if you've got no money, then this is an amazing method to start making money so you can reinvest it. But even if you have got money and you're running ads, at the end of the day, when you're running ads, you just need to monetize them. It doesn't take a long time. It takes a few hours a day. It depends where you are in your ad, in your ads, in, in your ad journey, sorry. Um, it can take a few hours a day. It can take a few hours a week. It depends, like I said, where you are. But if you're serious about your business and you wanna make money and you wanna grow it and you wanna make brand awareness, make sales, then organic marketing can work for you as well if you have got money. Don't just look at organic marketing for the people that have no money. It can also benefit you if you've got money. It can help you build brand awareness for free. It can help you generate more traffic and more sales for free. Because at the end of the day, if you're running ads, and you've got another 20 hours in a week you could put into your business, but you think because you're running ads and you wanna see what happens with those ads, you're wasting that other time you have going out with your mates, um, just basically chilling, watching Netflix, then you're not really serious about your business. You wanna be using that other amount of time you've got. Invest that time into organic traffic. Not invest all of it, invest some of it into your own personal time, but if you can invest five hours into organic traffic a month or a week, let's say weekly, then you're gonna see a massive difference for those who just run Facebook ads and don't do anything in their spare time. So that's all I'm gonna say for now, guys. Let's just jump straight into my computer so I can show you the organic, organic marketing methods that you can use. They're not gonna be every method that I use when I made $10,000. These methods I'm gonna give you today are gonna to be the ones that will give you results the fastest. But this will probably be like a part, like this will probably be like, like two part, three part series where I'll be doing like a few different organic marketing YouTube videos on different methods you can use. But in today's video, like I said, I'm just gonna be giving you the ones that work the fastest, but they don't give you the long-term results. 
So in the future, I will be giving you more, but let's dive straight into my computer so I can show you how you can use these organic marketing methods. So guys, we're on my laptop now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive straight into the free organic marketing traffic strategies you can use to drive loads of sales to your Shopify store for free so you can reinvest that money back into Facebook ads and Google ads or whatever ad platform you're gonna need. Now I recommend you guys try and, when you're doing these organic methods, you're gonna wanna try and build at least $150 to $500 so you can reinvest that capital into ads. So let's hope that with these strategies I'm gonna give you, as long as you're gonna work hard and you're persistent, you can generate that kind of cash flow so you can reinvest it into paid ads. So let's move on to the first stage, guys. Now, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to be doing is you're gonna be doing Instagram posting content. DM groups and DM potential customers. So I'm gonna show you how to do all these things right now, guys. So, so guys, the profile and the page that we got on the screen here is one of my students that owns a business called Diffusion. As you can see here, he's got 3,735 followers, 1,907 following. He doesn't do any of that following, unfollow DM bullshit. He doesn't do any of the chat bots or follow bots bollocks. That doesn't work. It's a load of shit. You don't wanna be doing any of that, guys. It doesn't work. You don't build a brand. You don't build an engaged following. That's gonna help you catapult in success moving forward all you're gonna do is embarrass yourself so guys <clears throat> that's that, that now he's grown his account this good by doing these methods that I'm gonna be telling you now. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to optimize your keyword here, so where it says mechanical gaming keyboards. Now, this bold writing is actually um, searchable terms, and this is a searchable keyboard. Now, the bold writing is always a search term and how you can get found. Now, a lot of people keep their bold writing to their brand name, so no, most people would normally keep this as their brand name. You don't wanna do that, guys. If you haven't already changed that to what niche or industry or sector you're in. So, for example, if we type in gaming key, Boards. You can see how he comes up at the top of that Google, uh, sorry, not the Google search, the Instagram search. Now, <clears throat> that's really powerful, guys, because you don't know how many people search for that keyword a month. I can't find out. But what I'm going to say is, Instagram is becoming huge and a lot of people are searching for things. So definitely recommend you do change that to a keyword in your industry. It does make a massive difference. I've seen conversion rates. I've seen increased page visits by Instagram by doing this. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do guys is you're gonna to wanna to post amazing, engageable content with hashtags. Now. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the content you're posting is good quality stuff. It's not shit quality, bad pixelated pictures, um, pictures that you've robbed from other people. Now, the pictures that he's got on this account, not all of them are his. He's asked other accounts if he can use them. Make sure you get permission from other accounts. If you haven't got permission, make sure you source the credit from where you get the photo. It'll stop you from getting in trouble and getting your account closed, guys. So that's just a little disclaimer that I wanna move on to. So you don't have to create content yourself to make amazing content. So for example, if you're in the home decor niche, you can go on home decor pages and ask if you can use their photos. If not, you can source the credit. And I know a lot of people say, look, I can't get good quality images. That's a good way of doing it. Another good way is you're gonna to wanna to post amazing videos. Now videos have a better engagement rate and a better reach rate than images. Instagram, every social media platform um, prioritizes video content now. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna post amazing content. You're gonna wanna add 25 hashtags, but you don't wanna just add any 25 hashtags. You're gonna wanna add 25 hashtags and per each hashtag, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's got between 10,000 and 1 million posts or follow or, ash or hashtag follow. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if we hashtag, uh, bear me one second, gaming, oops, sorry gaming you can see it's got 25 million posts now if we go on here the top posts here where it says the top left so top posts are basically people that trend for that hashtag or are trending for that specific post on the hashtag now if you want to become a trending post which is the is the objective here guys you kind of want to be the trending post that is the key to this because you're going to get the most you're going to get the most um awareness you're going to get the most visits you're going to get the most engagement because you're the top of that hashtag that people must be searching a lot for so you're gonna get the most for it now to become a trending hashtag if you're going to try and compete against a hashtag with 25 25 million posts the likelihood of you ranking for it and getting trendy for it is unlikely because there's gonna be other pages with better content, um, bigger pages, people that follow them that are gonna give them better likes and comments that are gonna help boost the algorithm. So you're better off competing against hashtags with at least um, 10,000 to 1 million posts or 10,000 to 1 million follow, they follow that hashtag if that makes sense. <clears throat> you can go up to 5 million but I don't recommend going over 5 million. 
Now, as you can see on this post, he's got 25 hashtags. Now, you don't want to use the same 25 hashtags per post. You're going to want to alternate them. So if you can see here, they, these hashtags there, and we go to this post, they're different hashtags every post he he post sorry every post he so every image he posts he alternates the hashtags now what he does is he creates a set of five different lots of 25 hashtags and he alternates them every post because if you post the same hashtags every post the algorithm will actually jam and stop you from getting reached which I don't recommend guys. And you want to post at least once a day. Now I recommend once to twice a day no more than three times a day. If you can post consistently, consistently once a day every week, then I highly, highly recommend you do. And what I'm also going to do is because I know people struggle for post ideas. They struggle. What should I be posting? Cam, Instagram's hard to post for a daily basis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave an image in the in the in the link in the in the link in the description below. I'm going to leave an image where I'm going to show what the image looks like. Now this is what the image is going to look like, and I'm going to leave this in the link in the description below because this was this is what's going to help you plan what you should be posting every single day on Instagram because I do understand it's not easy to post consistently on Instagram to come up with content. Now guys, like I said, you're going to want to post at least once a day and you're also going to want to make sure that you are consistent with it because if you're not consistent, then the work you've done will just rum it, will rummish. What I mean by that is for Instagram to start taking effect, you need to keep do you need to be doing it consistently for at least two, three weeks for it to start to see momentum build up. Now, like I say, guys, I understand that a lot of people are busy, so they're going to struggle to to post every day. Now you can use apps or software like Buffer where you can schedule posts, create schedule posts and they'll be posted automatically. Now I recommend you do if that's gonna be the case. Now like I say, the one I do recommend is Buffer. It's an automation where you can schedule posts. So that's the first thing when it comes to Instagram hashtags. Now. Also, when you're posting, you're going to also want to make questions so people tag other people. So, for example, he put here, do you know a mate with a sick setup? Tag them. So, what he's doing is he's encouraging people to tag other people and they're going to tag other people and then it's going to be the domino effect and more and more and more people are going to see this post. And the more people that get tagged, the more Instagram see it as a likable post. So, they're going to boost it in the algorithm. So, he might, he might hit the top of the hashtag uh, or top of the explore page for his niche, which could be gaming which is really, 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 really important. So that's the first thing to do, guys, when it comes to hashtags on posts and making sure that you post high-quality content and also make sure that you change the bold writing into an engage, sorry, a keyword. So make sure this is a keyword. The other thing is you're going to want to post Instagram stories every single day, once a day. And I'm going to leave a, a picture on the screen right here of an example that I do on my personal page. Now, as you can see on the image, I've got a picture of something to do with myself in drop shipping, and I've also put a hashtag for e-commerce and I've also mentioned myself on that um, story now the reason why I've added a hashtag to the story is because people can find your stories within hashtags and also if you put yourself as a mention it's going to give you a better click-through rate because people will click if they like what they see on the story they're going to click onto your account and view your account so as long as your account has good content they're going to stay on it and as long as you've got a website link which is what I really recommend you do have a website link then you're going to get traffic. You're going to get, there's more chance of you getting customers. So that's step one when it comes to Instagram, those few things that I've just mentioned, guys. Now, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to join DM groups. Now, DM groups are when you're in a group with other people. Now, it could be up to 10 people. Now, what this is, is where you're joining a group where there's other people in your niche. So for example, the gaming niche. And what you do is there's bigger accounts in there than just you. And there might be smaller accounts. So for example, there might be accounts with 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 um, follower accounts. Now, they're in the same niche as you and they've legit made their following. They've not bought followers. It's very important that you get into DM groups where they're legit accounts. And what's going to happen is when that you're going to comment on each other's posts, you're going to like each other's posts. And what that does is it tells Instagram that this big page is like your post in the same niche as you. So it means this is very important to your niche. So what you're going to want to do is Sorry, what Instagram are going to go and do is they're going to boost your post. And what we call those are power likes and power comments. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about DM groups in today's video because it's a massive topic. But if you want to learn how to get into DM groups and if you want to learn how DM groups works, I will leave a link in the description to an article on Google that explain this in depth. But like I said, guys, I will be making a YouTube video in the further time so I can explain how DM groups work and how you can use them to benefit your business. The next thing you're going to do is when you so how Instagram works is you're going to want to follow accounts in the same niche as you. So I recommend that you only follow accounts in your niche. So for example, because J, because Diffusing is in the gaming niche, you're going to want he's going to want to follow companies like Razer, Alienware, um, other. 
other other gaming companies that are quite big. Now, the reason why I recommend following just big so wh whatever niche you're in, you just want to follow the same people in your niche because what this does is it tells Instagram and it helps click the algorithm where you know how you go onto somebody else's page and it says suggested pages. It will actually add you as a suggested page if you follow and like. Sorry, if you if you just follow the same pages in your niche, you will become you will come up as a suggested page. Now, it doesn't work all the time, but it does increase the chance of you coming up as a suggested page, and that can really increase the power of um, being found in Instagram and getting more followers and more people clicking on the link here. So that's another tip I'm gonna give you. Follow accounts in the same niche as you, bigger accounts, a little bit smaller accounts, and you will, become, and you will come up as a suggested account, which is really, really, really important, guys. Now, the next tactic is going to be <clears throat> so the next thing you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to dm people in your niche that buy products so you're going to want to dm people let's say for example that buy the same products in your niche so for example if we type in here um hashtag uh so we're going to do a hashtag we're going to do pc gaming because that's the niche we're in and what we're going to want to do is click on the hashtag and we're going to want to see what pages come up um, so for example, this person's coming up here. She's put miss my white hair I've just finished so pretty so I don't know why she's even come up on the on the Instagram feed because she's got nothing to do with PC gaming So we're gonna want to scroll down and what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to find a, a post in here So let's say for example this guy here um, some black Blackout does then maybe some apex oh so he's on about black ops 4 blackout so he's doing that on pc so what i'd do is i'd go onto his account and i would actually hit the dm button i would message the user i can't do it on here because i'm on the computer so it won't let me message him i don't think um no it won't so what will happen is you'll click the dm button and what you'll do is you'll just say hello i love your page it looks great it looks like you're really committed to the pc gaming community this is our instagram page check it out i'm i'm sure our page can give you value you don't want to post your links i wouldn't recommend posting links in the dm you're going to want to just say look here's our instagram page i think you'd benefit our instagram page i think um you'd benefit from the stuff we post um and your friends because you got to remember um with some some forms of communities they they travel in bulk so if you invite this guy to your page he might refer loads of his other mates because it's in the gaming niche and people in the gaming niche are quite close together he's going to invite his friends to the page and they're going to check out your content and then hopefully check out your um website so that's the other thing that i recommend finding people in the same niche as you individuals and just messaging them and, and asking them to see if they can take value from your page so that's the instagram one out of the way guys so guys the next method you can do is youtube and youtube influencers let me show you how this works guys so, so guys how this works is you're going to want to go on youtube and what you're gonna to wanna to do is, let's say you, you're gonna you're gonna steal or you're gonna copy somebody's Facebook ad because it's doing really well and you're gonna to wanna to hijack their product and sell it on your store. So for example, the magnetic phone case, this was a winning product ages ago. It did really, really, really well. Now, let's say for example, you take that product and you sell the same product. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is, you're gonna to wanna to make a YouTube video about that product, whether it's an unboxing video, whether it's a review video, doesn't matter what it is, I recommend unboxing videos and review videos. And what you're gonna wanna do is make it re make, order the product, get it sent to your house, and you just review the model. And now this isn't gonna be for everyone because some people are a bit camera shy, they don't, they're not talking to the camera and stuff, but I do recommend it for those that are willing to do it. And you gotta remember guys, business is about making sacrifices and coming out of your comfort zone. Review the model or um, do an unboxing. And like I said, guys, because look, 9,900 people search for this every single month, it means a shitload of people are looking to see what this product's about. So if you make a good video about it, you're not gonna say you're the owner or you're the one who sells it. You're gonna say, look, if you're interested in buying this product, this description, the link, will be in the description below, you can buy it there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna send a shitload of traffic to that to that link and you're gonna get loads of conversions and sales. And I've done this tactic so many times before and I can't stress how powerful this is if you do it correctly, guys. Um, and like I said, to make sure that you do rank high up on YouTube, you just need to put really good content with um, really good, um, Just you just need to make sure that what you're doing is at good value. Because look, this video is only two minutes and seven seconds and all it is is just showing how the product works and it's ranked 
pretty much at the top of the of the YouTube. Um, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't doesn't mean your YouTube videos have to be long. It just means they need to make sure that they're clear and, and the good content, which I'm sure this one is. So that's the first thing when it comes to YouTube. The second thing is you're gonna to want to approach YouTube micro influencers. Now, micro influencers are people with 5,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, 20,000 subscribers, anything under 100,000. And what you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to make a proposal to them, send them an email, and say, look, I love your YouTube channel. I love the content you're giving your community. This is our website. This is the products that we sell. Which product would you think would work best on your channel? And are you open to a commission-based thing where you promote the product on your channel and I'll give you a commission depending on how much the product sells for? And that's literally all you've got to do. And what you have to do, guys, is you have to message an email, like not just one account, not just two accounts. It's about messaging like 50 accounts. And out of 50, you'll probably get three or four that might say yes. When I normally do it, out of every 10 I message, I normally get one or two. So it's definitely worth it, guys. You're not paying you're just giving them a commission it's a great way to get started guys so that's the second way youtube which is youtube posting um, unboxing videos of your product or uh, a tutorial or a, or a review or um, approaching micro influencers and giving them a commission base so guys, the next method you can use to drive free traffic and organic sales to your store is Facebook groups. Now this method is really, really good and quick. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go into your business page that you're using to sell the product. So for example, this page here where it's a toothpaste dispensal. I'm sure you guys have seen this product. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to create a post before you can do this. This is the post that I'm using as an example. And before you do a, before I'm gonna show you what to do next, you're gonna to wanna to join loads of groups within your niche. So for example, I'm doing toothpaste, so I might join groups that have got to do with teeth, dental care, um, for example, teeth whitening, I might wanna join those kind of groups. I'll join loads of groups, you might wanna join like, when I do this, I normally join like 50 groups. It's crazy how many groups I join. And then what I do is I'll go here where it says share, and then I click share in group, and then what you wanna do is you wanna type in the name of the groups, for example, teeth. Nothing's gonna come up because I haven't joined any groups. And then you're gonna to wanna to post, has anybody seen this product before? I'm debating if I should buy it or not. Has anybody got this product? Is it worth buying? Things like that. Just asking people for honest opinions on the product. Should they buy it? Should they not buy it? And what this will do is it will post this post in that group and then people can obviously click on the page, go onto the page if they like what they see and then click shop now and buy the product. So this is a really powerful way of doing it. But you have to make sure that you come across as not the person who owns the page but the person who's asking for advice about the product but you're using this page as an example. Now this pay this works so well guys but it's about if you do it correctly or not. So guys, the next method you can use is Facebook business pages. Now how this method works is you're gonna wanna join not join, sorry, but you're gonna to wanna to go on pages that are related to your niche. So for example, if I'm doing iPhone accessories or phone accessories, I might join a page or like a page or engage on a page like this. They've got 26,000 people like it, 26,000 people who follow it. Now, for example, if I'm doing iPhone cases, I might wanna comment on one of these posts. So here we've got 19 comments. I might wanna go into the comments, engage with people, interact with people, but you wanna interact with people, not from your personal account, but from your business page. And you want you don't want to try and sign anything to them. You just want to engage with them, ask them questions, interact with them, have a laugh with them, build a relationship with them. It's called networking. Now this is important because if you build up a good network with people and you engage with people and they take a liking to you, then what will happen is they might be like, oh, we really like this page. This page is cool. Let's check it out. They might check your page out, and because they're already in your in your niche, because they're already on a phone accessory page, they're what we call um, qualified leads. They already buy products that are, for, but they already buy products within that niche. So it's not like it's not targeted traffic. So then they're gonna to come to your page, check it out, and they might see products that they can't find on this page but can find on your page they find better. So then they might buy products on your page by clicking the Shop Now button. So that's another great strategy I use, guys. And like I said, this method will only work if you build up on real engagement and you really try and help with engagement and you try and interact with people, not as a... If you're trying to interact with people as a fake, like if it looks like you're just doing it for the sake of doing it, it won't work. You need to try and commit to thinking, okay, I'm gonna connect with these people and build a proper relationship with them. Now, another thing is you might, for this kind of method to work and all the other methods I mentioned, you have to go through the numbers. Now, what I mean by that is you don't just do this to one or two pages. You have to do this to like 10, 20, 30 different pages for it to start seeing results. And you have to do this every single day, guys, for it to start taking what we call the compound effect where eventually it will become interest over time where people will start, you'll start to get results over time, basically. So like I said, guys, that is the other method you can use.
So guys, the last method you can do to drive organic free sales to your store fast with organic marketing is Facebook Marketplace. Now this method is a little bit more complicated, so let me show you how you can do it. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to go, you're gonna wanna go onto Facebook Marketplace. So let me show you how Facebook Marketplace looks like so you can kinda get an idea. So you're gonna wanna go here, you're gonna wanna go to Marketplace, and then you're gonna wanna click um, where it says sell something and as you can see here guys marketplace is pretty much selling things you don't need anymore so for example sofas old TVs now what you can actually do is though you can sell you click the sell now you click the button where it says sell something so for example, if I'm doing an iPhone case or something along those lines, I'm gonna put what it's called, I'm gonna put the price, and then for the location, you're gonna to wanna to put the biggest city in your country, because you can't do countries, you can only do um, cities for countries. So for because I'm located in the UK, I'm gonna put London, United Kingdom, because that's the biggest place with the biggest, biggest population. And then I'm gonna change the category to mobile phones. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of a description here. So for example, 100% money back guarantee, 30 day risk, blah, de, blah, de, blah. And then I'm gonna put here, disclaimer. Now you gotta to remember to put this disclaimer. If you don't, you are gonna you might get into trouble, guys. The more than likely you are. Because you gotta remember, the stuff that's on Facebook Marketplace are things that people can go out and get straight away. They can go to that person's house and collect it. But because you're dropping shipping you can't physically give it to them on the same day so what you have to do is put disclaimer i don't have a stock i don't have stock in hand message for purchase link so what you're saying is you do have the products available but for them to buy it they would have to buy through a link now you're going to want to upload photos that are similar to the photos you can see in what we call lifestyle photos so you don't want to add photos that look like generic photos that are from like amazon you're going to want to add photos like this where it's like a proper lifestyle photo so it looks like you actually have had the product in hand before so it looks legit and then you're going to want to post photos like that lifestyle photos is what i call them and then just click post and then you're going to want to do that you're going to want to keep making this post but you you might want to duplicate this post and change the location to all the cities in your country and then what will happen is you'll get engagement um and you'll also get people inquiring by messaging you on facebook saying where's my i've had people before where people will put okay can i have the link please to buy can i have the link please to buy can i have the link please to buy and the amount of sales i've used i've driven from just doing this guys is crazy so i really do recommend this method but you do need to be open up to people and tell them the truth that you don't have the product in hand by putting the disclaimer and for this to also work you need fast shipping guys because if you say to somebody it's going to take two weeks, they're going to say you're having a laugh. So you need to make sure that you have fast shipping on the products that you're already selling. So if you guys want to have fast shipping on your products, then you're going to want to watch this video I've made on my YouTube channel called Best Dropshipping Method Supplies in 2019. I will leave the link in the description below. In that video, I'll be telling you how you can get really fast shipping times on your products. Because like I said, this won't work if you've got slow shipping times. So guys, that is the final method I do when it comes to um, free organic marketing for the quick sales. So guys, there are all the organic methods you can use to drive quick, easy sales to your store. Now guys, like I said, they're not all the methods that are organic and can drive sales to your business for free. They are probably 10% of the ones that I use. And like I said, guys, this is gonna be a video series where I'll be making part two, part three, part four, depending on how many videos it takes me to give you all the methods I use to generate 10,000 pounds. But like I said, guys, these are the ones that are gonna give you the results the quickest. And like I said, guys, if you are persistent with these, you will get results, guys. And that is it for the end of the video today. And if you haven't already, you might wanna, you might wanna enter the giveaway that I'm doing. Now, all you have to do to enter the giveaway to win a 15 minute consultation call with me is you just need to Take, comment in the comments section below take over 2019 hit the like button and smash the subscribe button as well guys